Russia's MiG Corporation may be building a hypersonic weapons capable, manned, and unmanned stealth jet. This aircraft could be capable of hitting speeds of Mach 5 and carry anti-satellite missiles near the boundary of the Earth's atmosphere. Very little is known about the mysterious new and development Russian 5th Generation Plus Plus or possibly 6th Gen Stealth Fighter Jet Interceptor replacement for the existing MiG-31. Russian press reports say the MiG-41 may resemble the 5th Generation SU-57 in its configuration. The MiG-41 fighter jet, known as the Perspective Aviation Complex of Long Range Interception and Short PAKDP, is slated to fully emerge at the end of the decade as MiG Corporation's fifth generation offering. There has not been an unveiling or public display of the aircraft, yet several available images or renderings show a rounded and blended wing body stealthy configuration with vertical tail fins, not unlike what is seen on an F-22. F-35, or the Russian Su-57. One's 2019 report from Russia's TASS news agency shows a photograph of a stealthy-looking, rounded fuselage covering a pilot's cockpit, yet few details are offered in the body of the article. In a general sense, the report does quote the director of the MiG Corporation, saying the MiG-41 will use new types of aviation weapons and be created using new stealthy technologies. MiG-41 6th Generation Technologies What are these new stealth technologies? This question certainly invites speculation. In light of the mysterious U.S. Air Force 6th Generation aircraft, like the U.S. so-called counterpart, it may contain new kinds of radar-absorbent materials, design configurations, and sensors. Perhaps it will be AI-enabled and capable of operating drones. Russian and MiG leaders are clear that the MiG-41 will eventually replace the MiG-31 as a fighter interceptor aircraft. The MiG executives quote that it will contain new types of aviation weapons. One interesting report from MilitaryAerospace.com speculates that the MiG-41 might operate in near space environments and perform paradigm-changing kinds of intercept and attack missions. The MiG-41 also would be capable of carrying anti-satellite missiles and could operate in near-space environments. Some reports even claimed that the aircraft could shoot down an incoming hypersonic missile. Since being announced back in 2018, a few details have emerged about the MiG-41 jet fighter, including that it would be equipped with a ramjet or turboramjet engine and would use stealth technology and be capable of reaching a speed of Mach 4 to 4.3 while some reports suggest it could even reach Mach 5. Design Features As per the Russian media, the MiG-41 is designed according to the standard aerodynamic scheme. With a medium wing placement, the sweep angle is 37 degrees and is mechanized, consisting of slotted flaps, ailerons, and deflection socks. The airframe is made mainly of aluminium alloys and steel. Titanium and composite materials are also widely used in the design. The tail unit consists of two swept-back solid hull fins mounted with a 25-degree bend to reduce radar visibility. Compartments at the base of the keels accommodate the system for ejecting false thermal targets. Availability Pia KDA is expected to be available in another few years. According to Colonel General Victor Bonder, Pia KDA will not be able to enter service until 2025. Avia, a Russian media outlet, says the first flight should take place by 2025 and will enter service by 2028. The construction of the prototype will be completed by 2023, after which the ground tests will begin, followed by test flights. It is not known if the deadlines will be met. It is speculated that the MiG-31 will remain in operation until 2028 after which the decommissioning process will start. The creation of the MiG-41 multifunctional fighter project is not a simple replacement for the MiG-31 and is a technological revolution. And here, Russia appears to be ahead of the United States, which is yet to appoint a contractor for its NGAD 6th generation fighter program. Like the NGAD program, the PAKDP is a highly classified project but the Russians have already defined its key performance parameters. Thanks for watching.